yeah, being a Victorian, living in WA, it's been great. Um, we're happily called Western Australia, my second home. Um, really settled here and, and the club's been really good with that as well. Schofield wrapped him up. The kid will like that in his first game. Self-belief and self-motivation are big things about my game and I've probably just got a lot of confidence out of playing in the team for a bit and, and the boys around me and the coaches' confidence as well that it's just enabled me to play more of a natural game rather than trying to do things I um, don't naturally do, I guess. And that's a splendid fist from Schofield. When Dad passed away, um, it, it sort of, it doesn't really put things in perspective because, you know, that's life. People pass away and, um, you know, I was really sad at the time and um, I feel like Dad's always with me and, and I was kind of pre pretty realistic that, um, you know, things like that happen sometimes and it's just given me some I guess a bit of momentum and um, instead of dad sitting at home on the couch yelling at the TV, he's sitting above me yelling down from above. So it kind of gives you a bit of motivation when times get tough. Um, it's happened a couple, couple of times already this year. I sort of felt like uh, saying, can't dad give us something extra? The Hawthorne game was a prime example. Uh, last quarter it was really tight and I remember asking for something and uh, a few little bounces went our way. So hopefully it's a nice little omen for us and Got a 23rd man on the ground while we're out there. 40,000 out of the seats. Say wow, we. What about that? It was something new hosting Eagle Vision and um, doing a bit of extra stuff for the website and that sort of stuff this year. And I've really enjoyed it. And it's definitely something that I, I want to pursue as we go. Uh, Going to have a chat to Nico, possibly co-hosting next year, but got to get over the line with Nico first. I know he likes the limelight. That's a goal. I'm a backman and goals don't come often enough to be keeping it quiet when I kick goals. So I guess uh, I should really be throwing out to the fans, you know, what celebrations I should be doing. And I'm happy for, for any uh, suggestions, but I don't know. Who's not happy when they kick a goal, especially if you run down half the wing and kick it? He might fancy himself here all the way from defence. It was worth a goal. Stand up and applaud that one. Will Scott. The advice I give kids aspiring to be AFL footballers is spend a lot of time on your strengths because everyone's got weaknesses and although you have to try and improve your weaknesses, what gets you drafted and then what gets you playing good footy is how you bring your strengths to the team. It probably sums up how we are as a group that um, it doesn't matter if you're from Victoria, South Australia, although some South Australians are a little weirder than others. Um, you know, we don't, we don't have any Tasmanians, but wherever you're from in Australia, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's a really tight group and, and boys living away from home feel like they've got enough support here to stay. They don't feel like they're homesick. And, and I know from you know, my perspective, I, I love it in Perth and um, can't see myself leaving anytime soon.